Hello, and welcome to Escape Into Reason, the channel where we discuss film, TV, and video games, or whatever. Now, the film industry is one that wants to give the audience what they want. Help me help you. Sometimes to the point of oversaturation until everyone kind of just gets bored of the whole thing. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. It's just that whenever I start to talk about Lane, I always get so carried away. I lose all track of time. But sometimes those genres have a resurgence and certain filmmakers can breathe a new life into what is otherwise a dead genre. It's alive! And here's our list for dead movie genres we believe deserve to be revitalized. Hey, you, come on, I've seen that sleeping act before. You know your ticket ran out the last stop. Number one, Noir. Also known as Film Noir or Noir Black, this genre first gained prominence in the 1920s, and were amazingly popular for over 30 years. Right, get your hands up, all of you. Now, one move out of any one of you and I'm gonna start firing. But were most popular in the 40s and 50s because it reflected the society of the time, more specifically the disillusionment, anxiety, and uncertainty of the post-war era, as well as covering social issues of the time, such as racism, sexism, corruption, and crime. I have to make certain that you're not armed. These films were typically a certain type of detective story wherein you couldn't trust anyone and no one was who they seemed. Come out and shake it, you dirty yellow-bellied rat, or I'll give it to you through the door! <laughs> Reasons that film noir went out of fashion include the changing social and political climate of the post-war era meant that film noir reflected the anxiety and uncertainty of the era. As the economy improved and the Cold War eased in the late 50s and early 60s, film noir became less relevant and appealing to the audiences who wanted more optimistic and escapist entertainment. It's after 10, we're closed up. And a hamburger, well done, with onions, mustard, relish. What else you want on that hamburger? The whole state of California? What's the population? Also the emergence of new genres and styles such as French New Wave that introduced a fresh and innovative approach to filmmaking, and the rise of television offering more options for what to watch than the movie theaters of the time. Are you gonna go to an employment office? Yeah. <laughs> Lucy, why don't you answer me? That's nice, dear. <laughs> now, as you'll find, no genre is ever truly dead, as people will come back and make something new with the tropes and styles of said genre of film. Number two, the western. If you know a thing or two about film history, you probably aren't surprised to see this entry on this list. Westerns were, at one point, the biggest film genre in the world. I mean to kill you in one minute, Ned, or see you hanged in Fort Smith at Judge Parker's convenience. Which will it be? Since films first started getting made, people were interested in watching cowboys robbing trains, or protecting stagecoaches, or having duels, and the like. Are you done? Stay down now unless you're still fighting. Yes, I give up. Since the very first narrative films were ever made, filmmakers were making western, and it remained one of the biggest film genres for over 70 years. You see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns, Dick. This genre went away because people really did think they'd done everything they could possibly do with it, but considering that westerns are defined just by their location, it's odd to me that more isn't done with the western genre in modern days. Like, where are they gonna make my cowboy horror movie, for example? You just shut your smart mouth and get inside. Number three, zombie movies. Speaking of horror films, this classic subgenre featuring ghouls coming back from the dead to wreak havoc on various degrees of the populace never really died, no pun intended, but it's not nearly as popular as they were in the 80s, 90s, and especially the early 2000s. It involved fighting protection in one location, or sometimes going on the road and hoping for the best, but these movies are one that usually involved a worldwide apocalypse of undead outbreaks that wipes out most of humanity, and the survivors are left to fend for themselves against the hordes of flesh-eating zombies. So, what's the plan? Right. These ideas actually have their roots in Haitian folklore, wherein witch doctors would reanimate corpses to do their bidding. But as most good horror movies are, the best zombie movies are the ones that make social or political commentary on the modern day. To say that people are essentially zombies nowadays is an understatement. This would be a great genre to reinvigorate at this time. Let's go pint and wait for all this to blow over. 
How's that for a slice of fried gold? Yeah, boy! Four romantic comedies. Seth, this is not about you. Yes, it is. You are a human affront to all women, and I am a woman. When I was growing up in the 90s, scriptwriters and other movie makers would say that no matter what else happens, people would need romantic comedies as date movies from then until the end of time. I guess they didn't expect people to notice that romances were being forced into every movie for the sexist reason to give women actors something to do in them. And the rom-com fell out of favor just as that particular trope went out of fashion. What for? You want to have a miserable, frustrating life? Oh, Josh will have that no matter what he does. Also, the rom-com is a genre much like the Western, that filmmakers made so many of them that they basically did everything they thought they could possibly do with the genre. That's what you say. You're probably right. Romantic comedy is a genre that may have died, but feels like it's one that's just waiting for someone to come along and remember that having a little hope and a little humor mixed with romance is never a bad thing. You know, drinks or dinner or a movie for as long as we both shall live. Number five, the disaster movie. Well, all of life has been a disaster since at least 2019 when the whole world fell into the darkest timeline. But in the 80s and 90s, this was one of the most popular movie genres of those decades. Shall we play a game? I'd love to. How about global thermonuclear war? Though it started in the 70s with movies like The Poseidon Adventure, The Towering Inferno, and Earthquake, it grew into something much larger, literally, as it went from doing smaller, isolated incidents to world-ending disasters like with the movies Armageddon or 2012. Still, these films were just dumb fun, and it's nice to have an escape from real life sometimes in a world that's much worse off than our own. Kate, you gotta just trust me on this, okay? Guys, look. So that's our list of dead movie genres we think deserve to get a revival. Were there any genres that weren't on this list that you thought should have been there? Then leave a comment letting us know. And if you like the video and this type of content, then please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.